Hello, it's me, Monkey Nuts, here with part 22 of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Part 21 is on my YouTube channel, it's just uh, a quick run through of how to do the Cortex M Fury Trophy on Crash number 2. Anyway, I will be now moving on to Crash number 3, Walt. Now, I'll be in and out of talking just for hints and tips. I'm going to let you enjoy it without me rambling over it all the time. But I will be in and out for little tips, tricks, guides, help for trophies and levels and stuff like that. When I feel the need to. So. It's Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex. It's Crash Bandicoot 4. Yes, Crash Bandicoot 3, Wart. Start on brand new game. I'm just going to go the whole run through. Um, as I've done with the previous ones, I'll show you the standard ending and the 100% ending. Well, this one's 105% ending, which means you have to get all the relics, all the gems. So yeah, so on three, you have to get all the relics as well and get the two secret levels, which I will show you all in these videos to come up. So first off, I'll be starting on to... Obviously, start off and probably doing the whole of Warpoon one up to the boss and doing the boss fight as well. So, enough of me. Let's get into this. Uga Uga is free? No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. None have dared fail the great Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice. Great Uka Uka. It was that infernal bandicoot! From deep inside my temple prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet! I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And failed! But since your fumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time, the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right! After many eons, my evil twin brother, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Children. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that may scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck.
Okay, so I'm just going to quickly look around and then I'll just start off onto things. Obviously, um, these are blocked off until you finish the rest of the levels. Now, the first cinematic, the starting cinematic of the Cortex Vortex crashing to the temple, you kind of need to do the 100% ending on Crash 2 to, for it to make more sense. If you just do the standard ending, it kind of doesn't make sense of why it's falling down. But if you do the 100% ending, um, it makes a bit more sense. So, just going to see what interacting here does. So basically, similar to everyone's once you get to a point, well, once you get to a certain point on 1 and 2, you can have Coco join in. This one obviously can have it to start off with straight away. Just go up to her, interact with her, and boom, you have the option to swap in and out. So I don't actually just stay there all the time until that point comes. But it's pretty cool because obviously while she's playing there, it switches between 1 and 2, which is quite cool, little thing. Let's see what interact with this does quickly. Okay, so switch between that and that. That's quite good, interesting. So we're gonna leave her there for a minute, see if that changes when I come back out. But anyway, let's go get started into the medieval section of Warpoon 1. And we'll do all these um, collecting the gems. What I'll probably do first, uh, my first round through, is do the gems and the crystal. Um, and then probably go back and do the relics. I need to work this out for myself. Um, because I was relic for the time trial runs, and you need them for the 100% of them, so I'll obviously leave some out, or I'll do them at the end. We'll see, we'll start off with we'll doing this in the first level, Toad Village, and I'm going to cut out and let you enjoy it, I'll have me rambling. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh look, I have a mask helping me too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. So there you go, you get a um, trophy as soon as you do the first bonus level, um, or the first time you do a bonus level, you get a trophy for Scenic Group. Quite need a trophy to get, because obviously you just have to do a bonus level. So quite simple. There's also a death trophy to get, um, I believe it's probably getting uh, killed by a frog. Um, so when I have the option or the chance, I will show you that one and do that as well for you. So, I mean, I probably would die anyway, but... Just in case I don't, I'll purposely get killed by a frog at some point to show you that trophy.
Now that are those last two boxes and there's a third box in this one. The one is that kind of switch. Um, if it's your first time playing Crash 3, you need to get those um, as soon as possible because if you wait for them to count down, it'll turn into a metal box and you'll basically miss those boxes because they'll just turn into metal so you can't destroy them. So just be warned for those ones.
Now, if you haven't played three in three, Coco comes a proper playable character. I've seen the originals you can't play as her on one and two. It's just three where you can jump in and just do these certain ones of her. Or two or three, you can actually go into other levels and play as her like the other ones, which is awesome because everyone loves Coco. Right, let's go and do this one.
bring them to big Colosseum in Rome. Crash! Leave them for tiny, or crash get crashed! I love tiny. Um, so as the hint says, unlock a new path by earning the red gem elsewhere. So obviously, at the moment, I haven't got anywhere near that. Or don't know where the red gem is at the moment. Um, so... I think I could still... So obviously there's two gems. One's a box gem, one's a clear gem. A clear gem will be at the end of the red gem path, I believe. Um, but I think... Can still get um, the box trophy for Boneyard. Anyway, um, obviously we'll find out in this level um, if you can or not, and then I'll let you know. Um, and then we'll come back to it if I do or whatever. But anyway, let's go and get the crystal gem and do Boneyard.
So there we go, the Boneyard box gem you can get without the red gem path, the red gem path will just lead to another clear gem. So there's that for you. Now let's go do the last uh, level in the first warp room, making waves which is a cocoa level and then we'll probably fight, well, I think probably will. we will fight then, we'll then fight Tiny after you get the crystal and gem in that one. Oh, just a crystal. You just have to collect crystals, you have to check, collect the gems if you don't want to. But obviously the gems will lead to the 100% or 105% ending. So yeah, we go and do this one.
Okay, we've gone on to the boss battle of Tiny Tiger. Obviously, once you collect um, all five crystals as one, you'll be able to do any levels to complete the boss one, and I think you can go back and do the boss fight as many times as you want afterwards. And I'll stay on for a little bit because I have a little um, thing to show you. That's quite funny. It's quite like a nice little Easter egg. So it's a nice little um, easter egg, something that you could do in the previous games. You can't do it now, but instead they uh, give you like a little thing. It's quite funny. Um, so I might die a few times just trying to show you it. We'll see what happens. So in the original third one, if you go into this corner, you could get away with everything. But now... Oh shit. Not this time, in a bit. But uh, yeah, in the original ones, you could just stay stand in this corner and miss all the lines that come out. But now, you can't do that. Okay, I was supposed to spin. But now you can't do that. Um, instead, if I can get it, um, the audience throw cheese at you. Because it's a bit of a cheesy way to get through the boss battle. But yeah, so it used to be, I think it's like this corner, about here. I'm spinning. Here. I'll try to show you without dying. But yes. So obviously, yeah, you still can't. So yeah, there you go. All the cheese is flying at you. So there's a nice little Easter egg for you there. It's quite funny. It's cool how they've actually play, put that into place. Because um, obviously it was a cheesy way and they throw cheese at you. I like it. It's good. get power up now as well and we also get a trophy tiny trounced for defeating uh, tiny tiger quite an easy one not everyone should get once you beat the thing and obviously each boss level you um, the boss you defeat you'll now get uh, extra powers because yeah, obviously stand to the original ones that's how it used to do in the original ones so now we'll get a supercharged body slam with the tiny tiger one so basically replaces normal body slam for a supercharged one So we can just beat the shit out of him. Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. And there we go, and obviously as I said, once you complete that you can go and defeat Tiny again as many times as you want it. Or want to. And obviously there's that's unlocked. Now I might do the time trials in my own time. Um, you know Before I end the stream, I'll go back, show you a quick time trial for Toad Village, do the time trials on my own time, 
see how things go. And probably show you the death. And oh yeah, and I also don't actually. So Why? Why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? Who? What? Where was I? Oh. Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything. But a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. <laughs> Complete for that bit it comes up. So I'm just gonna go show you the death uh, trophy and then I'll do a quick time trial and then I'll end the stream after that. So I'm just gonna rush through this without getting any boxes or anything. So I get another death. Let's go show you the death one. Quite an easy one to get. Just die. As much as you don't want to, just miss it. Uh, I'll show you what these boxes do if you leave them as well. So if you get faster, 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 and boom, steal. So you can't use them anymore. And here's a frog. So literally, it's gonna. I just realised it's got a skull on the back. Nice little detail there. That didn't give me a trophy, which I thought it would. Hmm. So don't die that way. That one I'm going to figure out then. But anyway, I'll go show you a quick time trial, and I'll probably do these in my own time. You'll probably see why, because I'll do a lot of restarting, because I want to try to get gold, so I can get the trophies, because the first, uh, for the first five, it doesn't matter what, um, if you get sapphire, gold, or platinum, but for the next two trophies, yeah, for the next two, yeah, you have to get ten... I think it's 10 on this one, um, gold or better, and then all of them have to be gold or better to get a gold trophy on this one, just like the, just like 1, 2 and 3 as well. So anyway, let's go and do this. Now, I've also remembered that you can't press R2 like you can in uh, Crash 2 after you defeat Cortex, but I believe after you defeat Cortex, you can do the run in again making time trials easier so we'll see what we get for this one if it is just a sapphire you know I'm trying to go as fast as I can but if it is just if it is due down to that then I might just sort of do all the time trials after I've done the stand and then then and got to the running shoes It'll be easy that way. Now I can't remember because I didn't check what the time was for gold. Oh, I got gold. Sweet! Um, but yes, I may end up going back and doing... Not this one, obviously, because I've got gold. I don't care. As long as I get gold or platinum, it doesn't matter. If it's sapphire, then I have to go back and do it, obviously. But I might just come back and do the relics at the end when I've got the running shoes and the lead up to the 100% or 105% ending. I'll have a think about that in my own time. But so there is at least one level completely done that I have to get back to again. Unless I have to do them for the death thing, but I don't think I do because I'll see if they won't get fun. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to end the stream here. My next stream will be on to Warp Room 2 or Time Travel World 2 thing. I can't remember what they call it here on this. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I shall see you next time. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>